Hello friends, this is Red Unicorn playing RimWorld with episode 19 of our Zero Skills playthrough. Um, last time we got, ra uh, we got a raid and, well, we were lucky we didn't have any serious injuries because we kind of outgrew our old kill box. I had already started on a new one but we weren't quite done yet, so yeah, that was... we were lucky there. Um, uh, we wanted to accept this quest, um... And I think I'm actually going to do this right now because Zorin and Neil, and Zorin is a really good fighter with a really good weapon, are going to leave in 5.3 days. And if you read this, it says that the pirates will arrive in 4 days. So if I want to have Zorin in this fight, I'm actually going to have to accept this now, which I'm going to do. So here goes. And that, then let's hope we're equipped to deal with that by then. Um, let's make this bigger, shall we? And then there's gonna be enough food for the donkeys for now. There you go. I'm going to increase this clear snow area. We're doing a lot of um, stone cutting right now, so we're going to clear all the snow. And everything here. It's just that if you look here in the bottom left corner, it says that walk speed on snow is 52%, which is, uh, well, yes, it's very, very slow, so it's not ideal, obviously. I love how you're building those traps and then you don't build the walls, so if we get right or right now, they will just bypass bypass the traps. Uh, gotta, sometimes you gotta micromanage things a little bit. No, don't do this deal. Please build the walls first. You can build the traps afterwards. Okay? Thanks. And we have a pregnant donkey. So Lisa is the one who is the happiest person on earth. I mean, you were a slave before, so... You upgraded. I don't like that she's an undergrounder. And she has an inspired trait because she's so happy. Well, okay. Interesting thing is, um, if you go to the numbers mod, you can see who is the better trader, and with the trade inspiration, actually Lisa would give get better prices, uh, prices than Kirill right now, so really keep those inspirations in mind. They are quite, quite helpful. And hosting allies. Okay, let's take a look. Ooh, a jump pack. Ooh, chain shotgun masterwork. <gasps> two outlanders. We need to guard two outlanders. It doesn't say they won't do work. And we have 7.4 days to accept, so once those two leave, maybe we can actually do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's... I mean, I'm not quite sure if I prefer the shotgun or the jump jetpack, but Lisa's actually, um, yeah. She grew up in a cave, that's why she's an undergrounder. And then she didn't didn't know what to do until we captured her, enslaved her, and then she thought, well, I'm gonna be a good colonist for you guys. Oh, well, fine. Lisa, we're gonna make another caravan for you. You need more chunks. So, let's form another caravan. This time turning off food first. Take everybody, all animals, and all the limestone chunks. Send, confirm. And then you guys remove from caravan. And all my donkeys remove from caravan. And then Lisa's gonna get us some chunks. Where's my caravan hitching spot? There. Oh, that's why she's walking there first. Okay, fine. Actually, we need to move that because... 
We want it close to our storage area. Let's put it right here. So, Lisa is going to get us some stone chunks. There we go. Um, no, don't. Don't leave the map. And unloading inventory. Nice! And Schneider's board. Oh, that means we're done. That means we are done. Nice. Okay. Schneider, I don't want you to... You know, we can start with this one here. I'm always building the defenses first, because if I build that one and then I get raided and I know I'm going to get raided in the next few days, well then I'm in big trouble. Machining's done. Okay, so flag armor we'll need plate armor first, so let's do that. The thing I'm wondering is normally I'm protecting with um, my power conduits by building walls on them, but I'm not quite sure if raiders attack fences, so as long as those fences are not burnable. Let's try this, why don't we? Fix is making some meals. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go hunting again soon. Let's up those. Minus 18, 18 C and Neil is stargazing. Of course you are. Well, at, you, at least your gear is up to it, so... That's okay. Winter has begun. <laughs> Oh, of course it has, <laughs> because it hasn't been cold and, you know, snowy before. No, no, it hasn't. So that's allowed to build the park on it. Eat warm clothes. Who? Yeah, that's because you are wearing a flag jacket. It has no insulation whatsoever. Well, if you're getting too cold, you can. You can get a parka. We do have one, so... Okay, and I'm thinking food-wise, uh, I'm not sure this is gonna keep uh, through the winter. We have... My goal was to get four donkeys for traveling, that's a good number. So now that that one's pregnant... I'm sorry, donkey number two. We don't need you anymore, so... I guess somebody of all those people. Let's take Schneider and Neil off of handling, actually. Will um, come and say goodbye to you. And now this one. So because people are bored, no planting and nothing, we are actually getting a lot of research done, which is good. And... Um, can... Somebody hold that wood out of there, please. We want the door to close. And we need to continue building that one. Chemical starvation. I'm sorry, my man. We will get right it soon. Those people will hopefully bring some drags and then... This is a normal one. Let me just check. Yeah, I can't change your weapon. You have a normal one. Kirill? Can you equip this one? Thank you. Seven point three five damage. And you have a club which does 5 damage. I thought those spears were better, so... Drop the club, please. No, 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 no. Equip that bow and that as a sidearm, please. 
So we we finished geothermal. That should keep us nice and in energy. Now we can plug everything in and don't have to worry. I'm now a bit sad that I built that in this corner because our kill box is here now. That was not very good planning of me. Oh well. So. I actually like Carol quite as much because Industrious and Too Smart is good. The nudist as well, it doesn't really fit our climate, but yeah, minus three is something we can live with. Okay, he's a coma child and went on to being a counselor, and that's where he gets his high social from. Yeah, that's very important. Intertextual is getting better too. I wish he had a passion for that because then he'd actually be happy about doing that, but yeah, well. Can't have everything, I suppose. Okay, Lisa is going for stone chunks again, so let me just ease that process a little bit. Um, has that to do with the quest? Normally it says if it has to do with the quest. They're attacking immediately. No, that has nothing to do with the quest. Mm, how many are there? Three? Let me double check here. Just those three. Um, well, I guess we're gonna have to build, rebuild a few more traps, eh? So I altered the numbers mod a bit so I can see the skills of those people. The fighting skills and skills that I'm actually searching like construction, uh, medical and crafting are primarily the ones I'm looking for. Although maybe cooking would be okay too. Because at the moment we have the problem that Lisa is actually um, planting. She's happy doing it. She's good at it. She will be our full-time planter. And um, Isamu is our miner. And Vix is doubling as a cook and a crafter. And intellectual. So if we can get somebody else to help Vix out. So intellectual too. That would be great. We might have a cook here who can she's actually a melee fighter and a construction. Um, but chemical interest. No, thank you. Um... Let me add the traits in here as well. No depressive, no slow learner, no chemical interest. So they can, I don't know, get acquainted with our traps. Um, I'm canceling forming the caravan because she will be getting slower and slower the more chunks she picks up and I actually want her to go inside the walls now. So unload your inventory, you. Go inside. Let's put everybody into the safe zone, actually. That makes it easier. Let me check the safe zone. Yep, that is the safe zone. This is open. They should just walk down here. Let's keep an eye on Lisa and Isamu and keep an eye on the red dots up in the corner there. Um, okay, if two of them die, they should leave, and there's five traps, so two of them should be killed, but just to make sure, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna put two people, the best fighters, in the kill box. I think that's all we need, the rest can just, I don't know. Get some snow clearing done, I guess. Okay, let's slow that down, actually. Where are you going? You're igniting a power conduit. Okay, so the fence is not protection enough, apparently. Good to know. 
And let's build a real wall, shall we? But only after we finish the kill box, actually. So somebody stumbled into the traps already. And plate armor. That's that's n later. Later. I'm I'm busy. I'm kind of sort of busy. Dang it. Um, fleck armor. Here we go. Okay. Let's see what now they're leaving. Okay, but that gave us good information. They will. In fact, uh, the fence does not deter them from setting my power conduits on fire. Good to know. Let's put. Uh, let's unrestrict everybody except the important person here. And. Are you a pirate or what are you? No. Ooh, okay. Leading out in six hours. Okay, 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 okay. Let's put you here. And, um, you're just right there. Why are you so slow? I mean, this is 3.23, is that the stone skin gland moving times? Yeah, that's making you slow. Yep. Okay, so Kirill, you're faster. Can you capture them? We want to save them. And the normal heavy SMG, well, thank you very much. I'm, I'm gonna take that. Thank you. And you're leaving. You know, Yuki, you're free to go. You have a... Pump shotgun, yeah, you're free to go. Um, that reminds me. 3.2 days ago. Okay, so um, we're, we're going to host allies now. Because the next attack is right around the corner. And... I will have to... Expand my home area a lot, I guess. Because... Uh, I just noticed because the traps are not on automatic rebuild, but I toggled that on, so everything in the home area should be on automatic rebuild, which is isn't, it is not, so I haven't expanded that in a while. My bad. Okay, here we go. So we should start rebuilding the traps pretty quickly because we will be raided very soon. And the quests. I noticed that there's not only a jump pack and a cha masterwork chain shotgun, but there's also a low shield pack. And you know what? That is amazing. Don't make get me wrong, the jump pack and the chain shotgun are also really, really great. But I think this one would help us most at the moment. So the Outlanders arrived. Where? They, there they are. And they are... Um, now we need to do something about sleeping arrangements. I can think they can bunk with Carol here at the moment. Sorry for that. It's just for two days until the other two leave. I'm not gonna build new bedrooms. No, I don't have the time. I have to finish that. Izamu, what are you doing? Yes, you're getting the SMG. You are... Good, let's do that then. Can you... You're drinking a beer. Neil? No, 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 no. Um, Schneider? I know you're busy sleeping, but please... Neil, you're not drinking the beer. Why are you? You have chemical interest as well, okay. Can you drink that? I don't care, Neil. Yes, build traps, that's very important. Can you haul everything here? Don't mind the dead body. You're just gonna leave that there to show the next attackers what's up. That's what's up, you know. Oh, let's do work priorities. Yeah, they can actually help. Help the more people, the more 
The better we're gonna get the kill box up. Okay, maybe we're gonna get that done, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Do they have... Please tell me you have weapons. You didn't bring any weapons? Are you... <clears throat> um, great. Oh, look how busy they are. Okay, you're just eating that here on my doorstep. Go ahead. We're gonna get the rest then. And somebody... <laughs> Okay, so the raccoon came and ate, um, well, that person's head off, and then the fox came and ate the raccoon. <laughs> okay, fine. You, you do that. We can burn bodies, right? What I've done is I have put a stockpile zone down here for human-like and animal corpses to be burnt. And then I set the priority on low, which means that animal corpses will be stored here where I want them because I want them to be, well, eaten at some point and uh, human-like corpses will be stored here because they have no other storage space with higher priority. So that's how we're doing that. Foxy, how about you don't run in there? You're making me nervous. I mean, you're, you've are you just eaten a raccoon, but still, don't attack grub or anything. How can you kill without weapons? That's just ridiculous. Yeah, you can eat, and after you've eaten, um, how about you pick up um, that one. You can get that recurve bow and fix. You can actually get that good shirt ball. We will be attacked very, very soon, and we need to be prepared. I'm gonna shoot you, Sir Foxy, sooner or later. Okay, so let's check this quest out again. 3.7 days ago, so we might we might have the time to build some walls and replace those fences and can somebody anybody who observed the corpse anyways you can you burn this the body please thank you there you go and my has gotten sick from an infection oh i totally forget about you um how much medicine do we have 19 are you capable of walking? Can we release them? Can we release them? Are you capable of walking? Nope, you are not. Okay, fine. I would just I don't want her to die for to an infection. I actually want to release her because um I want to make friends with this faction. They have good stuff for sale most of the time. And yeah, you're the depressive beautiful one. Okay, let's do one herbal medicine and who's actually a good doctor? Fix, you're the best we have, I guess, so... Can you tend to her? As soon as 22, wow. As soon as she's capable of walking, she's out of here, but I guess we're going to have to keep her until... Well, the next raid is done, probably. Maybe she dies, maybe she won't. We'll see. Four days ago. Pirates arrive in four days. So, where? Yeah, well. And there we go. They will prepare for a while, then attack. It says in the message that view related quest. Okay, so it is related to that quest. This crowd. So you will prepare for a while. You you do that. I'm just waiting for them. Where are you going? Yeah. How about we stay inside now, except for Neil? Who is finishing the last of that? Okay?
Good. Um, I'm just going to increase that zone here, the safe zone, so people can actually clear the snow if they want to. We'll see. They do want to. You know, if you're bored, you can actually start on the bedrooms then. You can cut those plants and you can start on the bedrooms, why not? And they're beginning their assault and this time I think I do want to man my kill box. Um, if you're manning, putting people in your kill box, try to make sure everybody's standing behind a wall if you have the possibility. If not, make sure the most important people are standing behind a wall, because a wall gives more cover than the barricade. So, let's get everybody sorted. And there's the second right, and they are attacking immediately, that's what I meant. You be prepared to, if you have those kinds of quests, be prepared to fight two groups at once, five, like 14 people. They are attacking immediately and they are approaching from multiple angles. So there are two up there and down there. I estimated we'd have to deal with 14 attacker at once when I saw that quest and yeah, let's see how many they are, shall we? 14, there we go. A lot of good people, a lot of good shooters. I hope they are the fastest ones, <laughs> we'll see. And we will definitely, definitely have um, our hands full, even with this kill box here. But uh, we are prepared as well as we can. And Neil's just, just, just don't mind us. Just continue building, Neil. That's that's fair enough. You don't need to fight. Oh. Okay, let's slow this down a bit because I have to sort people out. Schneider, can you go there? Rollins, uh, Kirill, I want my own people here. And Lisa's behind a wall, that's good. The only one who's not behind a wall is that one. Okay, I can deal with that. But I'm afraid the actual fighting will have to wait until next episode, because time's up. Like, comment, subscribe if you want, and then I thank you for watching, and bye!